uh, polymer notes uh, uh, tend to be cleaner, uh, more durable and, uh, than paper bank notes and enable us to include new enhanced security features such as this uh, transparent window on this example, £10 note. Uh, over and above that, we can retain the traditional feel and design of our banknotes that we believe people value. So on this example polymer banknote, there's an image of the Queen on the front, raised Bank of England print, and the same image of Charles Darwin on the reverse of the note. Why does it give enhanced fraud protection? If you look at the countries which have introduced polymer banknotes, generally counterfeiting rates, which are low in the UK and in other countries, those counterfeiting rates have fallen. Won't there be inconvenience for retailers adjusting their systems and cash machines? It will be a big change. ATMs need to be adjusted every time we introduce uh, a new banknote so they can recognise a banknote as a genuine note. Uh, we'll probably need to add some anti-static devices to ATMs to manage the polymer, which we don't need to have at the moment. Does it save you money in printing costs? Uh, polymer banknotes cost a bit more to print, but because they last longer, at least 2.5 times longer, uh, over, a, say, a 10-year period, we're more likely than not to spend less money in producing the banknotes. And are they recyclable? Or is there an issue with disposing of them? Uh, well, we commissioned an independent environmental study about the, the environmental impact of polymer versus paper banknotes, a cradle-to-death to study. And that uh, study concluded that the environmental impact of a polymer banknote is actually less than paper banknotes. And yes, you can recycle uh, polymer banknotes. In Australia, they're recycled into plant pots, for example. And is it going to survive if you put it through the washing machine by mistake? Uh, wouldn't recommend it, but indeed they last much better in washing machines than your paper banknotes do.